Hey Google, what's the news? President Trump will head to Kenosha, Wisconsin oh, on Tuesday to meet with law beautiful. enforcement officials and survey damage from Amazing news about after Trump. Oh, I just want to wake up too. Okay. Today, Mr. Trump toured parts of Louisiana and Texas, cleaning up Hurricane Laura. On the 15th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina mm -hmm. hitting Southeast okay. Louisiana, President. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my first vlog I'm going to be doing as an intern. Oh, I can't even open my eyes. Uh, I've been just getting used to it, and I uh, thought I'd finally pick up the camera and do a little bit of a vlog, so I'll be walking you guys through a day of intern life. Uh, this is actually, the rotation I'm on is, uh, is on the floors, actually. So I'm in the hospital, taking care of patients, sick patients, uh, some COVID patients uh, mixed in there, so let's get ready and get to it. All right, so we're out of the shower, but I just realized that I left my scrubs in the dryer last night, which is out here. And let's get it. Man, fresh out of the dryer scrub. All right, y'all, let's get geared up. Here's my badge. Put that on. I uh, got my geeky stethoscope. Next up, we got my pager. Okay, we got that on. And put my pens, my notebooks, just in case you need to write something on the fly. And I think that is it. And then, of course, my phone. Okay, we are all geared up. We got all of our stuff, and we're ready to go. So that right there is probably the second hardest part of my day. First hardest part is probably the rush before we get started rounding. There's so many things to do, which we'll go through right now, but, but that is definitely up there for one of the toughest things to do, especially after you do it for like three, four days in a row, waking up at 5 a.m. and going through that routine. It's just, ugh. Just, it's, and some people even have more elaborate routines. Mine straight up just wake up and go to the shower and get out of here. There's something about waking up at five in the morning and coming outside and it's super quiet and relaxed. It's like the calm before the storm of the day. It's not so bad once you actually wake up. That's the absolute worst part. Very nice welcome today. <laughs> Hello folks, sorry that you haven't been seeing a lot of what's actually going on out there. I have to run over here to kind of get a second to talk to the vlog. But uh, mornings are usually really hectic. You show up, there's new patients, you gotta check out all the updates and then go and see everybody in any round. So it's right now around 12 something. So I know it's a huge skip in the vlog. Unfortunately, I'll try to get as much footage as I can out there. So basically it's yet here check on all the patients, round on everybody, and now it's kind of doing all the stuff that we talked about during rounds. I'll keep you guys as updated as I can, and let's get out of the bathroom here. <laughs> so this is our beautiful resident workroom. Confidential information, confidential information. Oh, we do have these now. And this is what keeps me going in the day. Just ate lunch and now it's time to get done with a bunch of notes, calling patients' families and doing all this kind of intern stuff basically <laughs> for the next like three, four hours. So let's get busy. Usually the morning is the worst part of the day and after that it's, it's a little better paced uh, and you get time to do a bunch of other stuff. This mask just does not want to stay on and the mask under it is destroying my face. <laughs> almost every single salad from Trader Joe's. Almost every single one. I think I haven't tried like three of them. There's one thing I wish there was more of at my program, it would be free food. <laughs> that would be my one complaint. Luckily for the most part, most of my patients are stable and uh, there's nothing really going on acutely with a lot of them. Uh, I think I have two that I'm worried about. One in particular who 
Um, I'm not sure sometimes when you're on a medicine service, you get these patients that maybe shouldn't really be on a medicine service because you end up just kind of watching them and coordinating different services. So I have one like that and she looks pretty sick. So I'm going to be watching that one. So let's get back to work and we'll check in with you guys soon. <laughs> almost there, almost there. <sighs> Trying to take this damn thing off. So as you can see, it's dark outside, super long day today. I actually thought, honestly, I was gonna get out a little earlier than that, but ended up being a really, really rough day. Code stroke called on one of our patients, sets everything back. Uh, then you got to catch up on a bunch of notes, and then just stuff is just coming out through the day. So like, compared to being a medical student, uh, to just constantly be busy, it's like you start at 5 a.m. for at least this rotation, uh, I'm hearing that for ICU, for most, even interns, you want to get there especially early, like at 3 a.m. Uh, so you start at that point and then right now it's like 8 p.m. or something and you're just constantly on. You're constantly just doing something, calling somebody, talking to a family, uh, you know, things are coming up, you're dealing with like all these nursing uh, orders, so it's just, uh, it's a lot. And then tomorrow it's just you go home, you eat, you do it again, so. Oh, it gets tiring. Sometimes you just want a nice little break, but uh, let's go home. Let's get some food and let's go home, man. All right, y'all. We are finally home and you know what we got. You know, it's not even a question. This is probably my favorite time of the day. Like, it's when you're busy that the smaller things become so, like, amazing. Like, when you get home from a really, really long day, just like that one episode of South Park with that Chick-fil-A meal, like, that's like heaven to you. So, that's when you know you put in a really, really long day of work is when the small things start being amazing. And we are finally almost home at 8.30, I think it is, or like 8.40 or something. The line of Chick-fil-A didn't help at all. Got the spicy chicken deluxe and then just said, what the hell, man, let's just, let's just do the Coke. Let's do the Coke. Oh, and, and let's do the chocolate chip cookie. Cause you know, why the hell not? It's a long day, why not? <sighs> so let's get upstairs here and go through the cleansing process on how we sanitize post being in the hospital. Okay, so let's go through the sanitation process. So first we got to kind of disarm ourselves. So there goes the badge. Here we have the pager, and then here we have the dorky stethoscope with the holster, uh, which I get a lot of compliments on, but I feel like in the back, they're probably just like, dude, who's this dork? He got a little holder for his little little uh, stethoscope over there. Uh, your pens, these are probably really filthy. Uh, so we put all those in our little desk area over here. It's contamination zone. And then we use the Clorox to kind of wipe down uh, the phone and anything else that I'm actually gonna be using over here. And then we hop in the shower because uh, gotta get that COVID. You gotta wash that COVID off, you know? Even though it's, uh, shower's probably not doing anything <laughs> to, to get the COVID off you at this point, but you know, just be safe. And uh, I don't live with anybody over here. I'd probably take even more precautions, but I think that's good enough for now. So now that we're home, we're sanitized, let's get into some Chick-fil-A. I'm so hungry, the last time I ate was at lunch and it was some kind of like uh, veggie hummus wrap or something like that. It was okay, but uh, definitely did not leave me feel that I've been super hungry after you work and you're on your feet all day. So from here, all that really is left to do is just hang out for like an hour and then go to sleep. Uh, unfortunately, on days like this, there's like no gym. If I'm lucky, some days I can sign out early uh, to like my teammates if I'm done with my work earlier and then I can come home and there's time to do like a little at-home workout. But like on days like this where I'm home and it's almost nine now, like workout is not gonna happen. So you, again, like in previous videos that I've talked about, you have to choose your, and pick your battles on when you're gonna kind of work on something and make progress on something and today's the day where we're gonna eat chick-fil-a and maybe tomorrow we get out earlier and we do the gym so gotta keep it fluid gotta spice things up and uh and keep it going <laughs> and then basically another part of my day is doing these conference calls with my family so i either call my dad my mom my brother my sister whoever's available you gotta you know make the rounds make the calls or else they're gonna call you back especially mom i mean if, if anybody mom's gonna get the call so we had that one patient that had a code stroke called on them that took a significant chunk of the day so when you're going through your day's process of uh going pre-rounding then you round with your attending then you go and kind of work on all those things that that come up 
stuff like this can come up and kind of throw your entire schedule into a loop and then you're behind the rest of the day. And like, I didn't get done with my notes until super late. And uh, then like stuff is just continuously flowing in that you have to follow up on. So um, yeah, it's tough, it's tough. And uh, you guys can see, you know, pick your battles. You got some laundry over here. That's not getting folded or hanged in a very long time. And in the future, I'll do like a little apartment room tour of this little space that I have over here and how I have it set up. And what was I talking about? How did we get here? I was talking about how my day went. Oh yeah, but usually when something like that doesn't come up like a code stroke or anything, it's a pretty manageable day for me. Like I, I usually don't have any issues getting done on time. I usually don't feel pressured. Usually not a lot of stress, but on a day like this, it's a very kind of uh, time intensive day. So, uh, and then why is my hand shaking? I really need some food right now. So this is my last day on this service with this attending and you, the attendings at my program have been absolutely amazing. I love working with everybody here. My senior, shout out to my senior. If she ever finds this video. I don't intend on anybody over here finding out that I do YouTube or anything like that. But if she does find it, probably the best senior ever that I could have started off my uh, intern year with was, uh, you know, really nice and like uh, uh, receptive to questions and was allowing us to be pretty independent as interns as well to kind of make our own decisions and go through the reasoning ourselves. Uh, I know sometimes seniors can be a little controlling or, you know, want to do things their way, but this is like the best experience I could have had uh, because of her for my first month. So awesome senior. All three of the attendees that I rotated with this month were awesome. Uh, so shout out to any of them, which hopefully won't see this video and have to see that shout out. But if they do, shout out for you. <laughs> so I think one of the big things that makes residency really hard, especially compared to medical school, is that uh, you're always on. Like, like with medical school, there might be days where you're stuck in class and then you follow up by like studying all day at home. Uh, still is more of a relaxed environment than going out and being on your feet and like doing a job. It's, it really is a difference from being a student that's studying, which is still hard, but isn't like you're on somebody else's time. You're constantly uh, five to eight, you have to be on every single day and uh, you have to show up and you have to perform. Uh, with medical school, you can have days where you just don't feel like studying, which is fine. Uh, you can have days where uh, you're just studying at home in bed and it's just like a comfortable environment. Uh, the thing that makes residency hard is you're always on. You have to go somewhere, you have to go to the hospital, you have to um, show up, you have to present, you have to be at your A game every day for your patients. So uh, I think that's probably what makes residency hard compared to medical school. Uh, you might be putting in the same hours, but it's just a different kind of work when you have to be Somewhere. Anyway guys, that is gonna be it for this vlog and it's time to go to bed and time to do it again tomorrow. Just all over, that same schedule, just again and again and again. Six days in a row, then you get that nice one day off and, uh, and then you go at it again for six days. So I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I have many more to come. Uh, I'm sure my ICU rotation is gonna be quite a fun vlog fun and big, big quotation marks considering uh, how crazy COVID and Mayday on top of that being an intern in the ICU uh, is gonna be, it's gonna be a whole story in and of itself. So make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that. And again, thank you guys so much for following us here at MedBros and we'll see you guys in the next one.